Let us understand strategy to solve equations where fractions are involved. We have six questions here to work with. The common concept will be to take a lowest common denominator and then get rid of fractions. Let us see how do we solve all these questions with this concept. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In case you want to learn from me, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Let's begin with the solution of these questions one by one. The very first one here is 2x over 3 minus 5x over 12 equals to 3 over 8. So let's find the lowest common denominator. Now, there are three numbers to work with. Strategy which I use is kind of like this. Write down the three numbers which are 3, 12 and 8. Now, two of them can be divided by 3 for example. So, let's take out those factors. 3 goes 1 times, 12 goes 4 times, 8 you cannot divide by 3. So, just leave it as such. And now, 4 and 8, 4 is a common factor which we can take it out. So, 1 remains 4 times 1 and 4 times 2 is 8. So, in this particular case, the lowest common denominator is 3 times 4 times 2, right? Which is 24. You get the idea. So, many times as it is, it is simpler to see the lowest common denominator, visualize and write it down. So, some of you could have directly written lowest common denominator as 24, right? But here is a good method to do it. Perfect. Now, let's solve the question. We have 2x over 3 minus 5x over 12 equals to 3 over 8. Since the lowest common denominator is 24, we'll multiply each term with 24, right? So, so think like this. 24 times 2x over 3 minus 24 times 5x over 12 equals to 24 times 3 over 8. Now, when you do that, you can see that 3 goes 8 times in 24, 12 goes twice and 8 goes 3 times, right? So, we can now multiply 8 with 2x and rewrite the term which will be 16x minus 2 times 5 is 10x equals to 3 times 3 as 9. You get the idea. So, we get 6x minus 10x equals to 9. And now, 6x, 16x minus 10x is 6x. So, we get 6x equals to 9. And dividing by 6, we get x equals to 9 over 6. Both can be further simplified, dividing by 3. So, we get 3 over 2 as the answer. So, our solution in this particular case is x is equal to 3 by 2. Make sense, right? So, I hope you have understood the whole process. We are going to apply this strategy in six questions, one by one. Question number two. Now, in this case, what you see is your lowest common denominator, 3, 6 and 3. So, clearly, the lowest common denominator is 6, right? So, you need not do that ladder division method, but I have shared that with you so that if the numbers are difficult to work with, you could. So, let's rewrite the question, which for us is 2x minus 1 over 3 minus x plus 3 over 6 equals to 1 over 3. Each term is going to be multiplied by 6. You see, each term is being multiplied by 6. So, when you do that, now when I say 2x minus 1, so, think like this, right? Each term, you get the whole idea, right? So, here, this is important to place the brackets. 
Now you can see that 6 will go twice with 3 and this 6 will cancel and here again it will go 2 times. So what we get is 2 times 2x minus 1 minus within brackets x plus 3 equals to 2. Now you open the brackets. So we get 4x minus 2 minus x and minus 3. So negative sign will change the signs, right? Equals to 2. Combine the x's. 4x minus x is 3x, right? And take the numbers on the right hand side. So you get 2 plus 2 plus 3, right? Which is 4 plus 3 is 7. And now you can find what x is. So 3x equals to 7. Let's rewrite. We got 3x equals to 7 or x is equal to 7 over 3. So that becomes the solution for this particular question. I hope it makes sense, right? So basically what we did, we multiplied each term with the lowest common denominator 6. And then we had 2 times 2x minus 1, 1 time x plus 3 or the number itself equals to 2. Once you open the bracket, it is important to see that with this negative sign, both signs changes. You see that both becomes negative, right? Otherwise, you land up with the wrong answer. Now, 4x minus x is 3x. And here we have 2 plus 2 plus 3, which is 7. So you could get answer in fractions as we got in this particular case. Perfect. Now, let's take up the next question, which is question number 3. It is slightly different since we have 2 outside and we have 5x plus 9 and 2 over 3. So in this case, what you can do is you can open the bracket first. So let's open the bracket. So when you open the bracket, which is 2 times 5x minus plus divided by 2 over 2 over 3 equals to x over 3. When you open the bracket, you get 10x over 9 plus 4 over 3 equals to x over 3. Now, in this case, what is the lowest common denominator? It is 9. So, since the lowest common denominator is equal to 9, we are going to multiply each term with 9. So, this time, I am not writing 9 everywhere, right? Like normally, I will do times 9, times 9, and times 9. That is for your reference, correct? But you can do this in your mind also. And when you do that, what do you get? 9 and 9 cancel. You get 10x, right? Plus, 9 goes 3 times, and 3 times 4 is 12 equals to 3x. You see that. So, what I did, I did a bit of mental math here, right? 9 and 9 cancels. It was just 1, correct? Here, it went 3 times. So, 3 times 4 is 12. This also went 3 times. 3 times x is 3x. Now, we can bring the x's together. So, we have 10x minus 3x equals to 12. And that gives you 7x equals to 12. And therefore, what is the answer? Well, 7x is equal to 12 means x is equal to 12 over 7. So that becomes the answer for this particular question. Hope it makes sense, right? Let's take up the next question now, which is slightly different from what we had been doing. Now, here we have a proportion type and equation, right? So we'll call this as a proportion type, right? So here you could cross multiply. So we could write this statement as 4 times 1 plus x equals to 3 times 1 minus x. You get the idea. So this proportion type, cross multiply, and then you get this. It is as good as multiplying both the terms with 1 minus x times 1 plus x, right? Now open the bracket and solve. So you get 4 plus 4x equals to 3 minus 3x. So Bring the x's together, 4x plus 3x, and the numbers on the right hand side, correct? So we get 7x equals to minus 1, x equals to minus 1 over 7, correct? So that becomes the solution in this particular case. Making sense, right? Feel free to write your suggestions and comments. In case you want to learn directly from me, 
you may send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Let's take the next question, which is 2x plus 1 over 8 minus x minus 1 over 3 equals to 5 over 24. Well, clearly, the lowest common denominator in this case is 24. Multiply each term with 24. What will you get? Well, the 8 will cancel and you get to multiply 2x plus 1 with 3, right? Here, x minus 1 will be multiplied by 8. And on the right hand side, 24 gets cancelled, you get only 5. You see, so with learning of this concept, what we can do is, we can straight away write down the statement as given here. That saves a lot of time. But you can do this only after you understand how we have done the previous few examples. Perfect. Now, the next step is open the bracket, apply the distributive property. So, 3 times 2x will be 6x plus 3 minus 8x minus minus becomes plus 8 equals to 5. Work with variables on one side, right, and the numbers on the other side, right. Okay, 6x minus 8x is minus 2x. And here, 5 minus 3 is 2 and 2 minus 8 is minus 6 and therefore x is minus 6 over minus 2 minus minus becomes positive 6 divided by 2 is 3 and so we get an answer which is x equals to 3 makes sense perfect the last question for you now this last question find out the lowest common denominator 5 4 and 20 right so, we know the lowest common denominator is 20 for us. So, we have x minus 1 over 4 minus 2x minus 3 over 5 equals to 1 over 20. When you multiply each term with 20, what happens? Well, it becomes 5 times x minus 1 minus 4 times 2x minus 3 equals to 1. Makes sense. So, try to practice this way. It is faster. Now, you open the bracket. So, you get 5x minus 5 minus 8x plus 12 equals to 1. So, 5x minus 8x remains on this side. 1 plus 5 minus 12 on the other side, right? So, we can now simplify this. 5x minus 8x is minus 3x. And here we have 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 minus 12 is minus 6. And now x equals 2 minus 6 by minus 3 and x is equal to 2. So x equals to 2 becomes our solution in this particular case. I hope you have understood the method of solving all these questions. So all six of them have been solved. I hope you have understood the strategy. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your valuable time and all the best.